here's everything you need to know if you want to become a data analyst for free and without experience. Let me start off by saying that you do not need a degree to get a job in data analytics, but having any degree does make things easier. For this guide, I'm assuming you have at least a high school education and you know your way around the computer. The links to all of these resources is in my bio, so let's get started. The first thing you need to learn is Intermediate Excel. That means you at least know how to use lookups, that's VLOOKUPS, HLOOKUPS, XLOOKUPS, pivot tables, string functions, statistical functions, and how to visualize data. Where can you learn it? There's a million places, but I recommend the Excel tutorial from W3Schools. If you want to use YouTube, you can check out Free Code Camp's two-hour Excel crash course. And on TikTok, you can check out Miss Excel for some great tips. Next up, you need to learn Intermediate SQL. What does that mean? You need to know data types, the kind of joins and when to use them, group by, aggregate functions, window functions, data preparation, and performance optimization. My recommendation is the Udacity Free SQL for Data Analysis course paired with Introductory and Intermediate SQL courses from Solo Learn. Note that Udacity has two courses with the same name. One is free and the other is $400. So make sure to Google the free one or use the link in my bio to get you there. If you want to learn on YouTube, you can check out Alex the Analyst SQL playlist. And for hands-on practice that you can add to your portfolio, you can go through Data with Danny's 8-week SQL challenge. And if you want to do over 200 SQL interview practice questions, you can go through Data Lemur, Hacker Rank, and Leap Code. I also have a couple of videos going through some of their practice questions. After learning SQL, you need to learn data visualization theory. For this, I'm going to recommend two books. See if you can request them from your local library so they're free. Otherwise, I've included links to Amazon. The first book is Storytelling with Data by Cole Nussbaumer and Affleck. I recommend that everyone who has any sort of data-related role reads this book. It teaches you how to pick effective visuals for your data and how to focus your audience's attention on what you want them to take away from the data. I can't recommend it enough. The other book is How Charts Lie by Alberto Cairo. It's more of a data literacy book, but it teaches you ways in which charts can be misleading or misinterpreted so you can learn what to avoid when you're making visualizations. After that, you need to learn a data visualization tool. I recommend you start with Tableau as it's easier to build a portfolio. If you want to learn on YouTube, there's a ton of videos out there, but I recommend Andy Kreeble, Tableau Tim, and Alex the Analyst. For hands-on practice, which is my preferred way of learning, I recommend going through the Makeover Monday and Workout Wednesday challenges. I've made plenty of videos on both of these, but they're the best way to round out your portfolio. You're going to have to make a Tableau public profile so you can publish your work. You can also download the Tableau public applications. So you can build dashboards for free. Or if you're a college student, check out my latest video to see how you can get the full suite of Tableau products for free. Okay, so those are all the tech skills you'll need to excel in an entry-level role. You'll also want to network to make your job search easier. My favorite ways to do so are LinkedIn, which you can use to connect with people at some of your target companies or maybe school alumni who are in the data space. Another way to network is by joining user groups. Tableau, Power BI, and Altrix all have user groups you can join to meet other data professionals. And that's it. Check out the link in my bio for the links to all of these resources plus some extras. Let me know if you have any questions and follow me for more data content.